So Dino Babers comes to the hill a bit of a quarterback guru. Syracuse fans enter the fall hoping they can find a quarterback that's like Donovan McNabb and relive all those glory days. That sounds like a tall task, but in steps sophomore quarterback Eric Dungy. He has all the talent in the world. He just needs to stay healthy. A new coach, new offense. It seems like a really exciting time to be playing football on the hill. What's it like with all this new energy here on campus? Uh, we're all excited. Leave without evidence. We have faith in coach. So we can't wait to get out there and just do what he uh, tells us to do. I mean, it's totally got to be different than what it was last year. You guys don't have the success as a team. You yourself, though, burst out of the scene with great success. But then a coaching change, uh, don't go to a bowl game. It's got to be different this year than it was last year. Feel more comfortable out here, uh, more confidence. Last year at this, or last year at this time, I wasn't really talking much. Uh, I was just kind of sitting back, trying to get accustomed to what's going on. But now I've just got to step up my leadership and looking forward to getting uh, attacking the season. Do you feel like this is your team? Um, no, it's uh, it's our team. So you know the position out there, you're making all the calls, making all the, or not making all the calls, but making all the the plays. So you got to put the ball in the right hands and make the right reads. So how much has this year changed just in terms of you and your, and your notoriety on campus. I imagine when you come on, people don't really know that much about you mm -hmm. besides the hardcore football fans. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's a little harder to go to like the cafeteria and stuff. Yeah, I look like a, a normal guy out there. Um, most of the times in class, people say, oh, you play football? And they're kind of shocked because I don't really look like a football player. You know, I just, I try not to, uh, I try to be a student when I'm off the field and, you know, a player when I'm on the field. All this tempo, chucking around the field a thousand times. What's it like playing in this Dino Babers offense? Do you get tired at all? Oh, no. I mean, arm got a little sore at first, but um, Coach, he has, a, he has a plan. So he said our arm's going to come back to us, and my arm's coming back already. So I'm, I'm looking forward to get back out there. Fans are expecting that up-tempo offense for you guys to be throwing it around all across the dome, but you yourself made some plays last year on your feet. I'm picturing that game against UVA, you leaping into the end zone over the defender. Are you still going to be making plays with your feet? I'll be able to make plays with my feet, but um, you know my job is to throw the ball, receivers' job is to catch the ball, running back's job is to run the ball. So uh, plays will happen, they'll come, but. For now, I'm just going to work on getting the balls in the right hand. With that said, though, I imagine there's maybe some conversations between you and Dino where he tells you to slide or get out of bounds a little bit more often. Yeah, Dino's definitely been on me about sliding, uh, getting rid of the ball, just really protecting my body. He's, he's been uh, doing a really good job of making sure I do that. I'm a journalist, do some research before every interview, and there's one thing I came across I'm not sure everybody knows about. You might not be the most famous athlete in your family. You got a cousin, Ryan, a moto star, has won a couple ESPYs. What's it like not being the most famous athlete in your family? He is the man of the motocross sport. I mean, I used to go watch him up in Washougal, watch him race. It's crazy, you know, people coming up to me asking for autographs just because I'm related to him. He is the man, uh, but he's worked hard. I mean, hard work, you want to talk about hard work, he's been ever since he was little, grinding, grinding, grinding every day. So it's crazy, you know, it's awesome to see him be successful. Did you ever try to dabble in moto? I know you're a multi-sport athlete. I wish, my parents would never let me touch that. I was strictly, uh, you know, stick to the ball sports, so. Have you thought about that opening game against Colgate and just kind of what this new feeling is going to be like with a new coach, a new offense? Yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm, I'm so excited. Can't wait to get out there. What are you envisioning when you, when, you, when you picture that? Just, you know, hopefully, you know, a lot of people in the dome and just, Fast football, a lot of good football, and you know, making plays out there. How good can this football team be? I mean, it's as good as we can make it be. Uh, as long as we're doing the right things and you know, going 100%, I think we can be pretty good. What's the one thing that you yourself want this offense to really hang their hat on come the fall? What do you want this offense to be known for? Going fast, fastest in the country. That's what I want to be known for.